What's up, guys? Queen of the Catfish here. I don't know about y'all, but rod holders, you can't never have too many. But you got to make sure you got some sturdy ones, some good ones. And when I say that, mad cat rods, for example. They don't fit down in a lot of rod holders. We got this one here that a buddy of ours, Mr. Warren Marshall, made this one here for us. Welded together now. I would pull it up and show it to you guys, but it's down in there pretty good right now. And I tell you, that rod holder, it ain't going nowhere. You ain't got to worry about it breaking, and you sure ain't got to worry about your rod going in the pond or the lake. Again, Mr. Warren Marshall, if you're interested, hit him up on Facebook. This next one here, another fishing buddy of ours, Mr. Jimmy Strickland made this one. It's well, pretty good. I can pull this one up a little bit easier and show you guys that one. How the point is on the ground at the bottom. It pushes in real good. Easy. And I promise you, this one ain't going over any good. I'm over here hooking this one. We use these here quite a bit when we're fishing. You definitely ain't got to worry about losing your rod and have to go buy another one. Third one we got here. Done by Mr. Earl Rebels. My husband. He's always the cameraman. And what this was, just a long steel hole. Put it in his vice grip, heated it up good, and got it to bend the way he wanted. Haven't used this one yet, but in the yard, testing it out. And that's another good rod holder. I ain't losing a, a mad cat or any more of my fishing pole, and it sure ain't coming up out the ground. So if you're interested, have any questions, feel free to hit these guys up on Facebook. Mr. Warren Marshall, Jimmy Strickland, and Earl Rebels. If you're interested in getting some nice holders, hold hit them up and tell them the queen of the catfish sent you.